still, um, Isam, Isam has seemed fairly good. And I do know, um, economics, in which Mr. Garfunkel likes to call them. He's been he's been practicing this character, so this is this is not a sleeper. All right. And as far as the matchup is concerned, it at least makes sense. I feel like Ike just needing to commit less buttons in general to fight off against Pikachu lends more opportunity for Goblin to take away from uh, from Esam. But Esam's opening up fairly strong. Once again, we're starting small battlefield, and I feel like as a stage, this is going to work out super well for Esam because it lends a lot of combo ability potential and also a lot of safe getaways because. While I can cover the ledge very effectively with his buttons, he can only cover so much space uh, laterally compared to what he's able to cover vertically. Yeah, and right there, if Goblin just managed to be a bit higher, so if he like delayed his outcome, he would have just got enough, got the stock right there. But we've seen a lot of upbeats from Goblin, and it's I do know they break. did buff it. They did buff it, and it has armor, but Esam just seems to be prepared. Like right there, just able to down smash through and taking the stock. All right, off of a stray hit, solid conversion of damage and no reversal for Goblin, but man, does he believe in the upbeat. Yeah, hey, he's a believer. Listen, it's, it's not a bad button to be pressing, especially against the likes of Pikachu north of 90%, but... I feel like at this point you need to stave off these combos. Just the little bits of damage that Esam is getting is building up because at no point has he shaken stage control. Yeah. He does not look phased. Right now it's looking like another day in the office for uh, for Esam, and I think one thing that's really coming to bite Goblin is these platforms. Time and time again, he is getting a hit of Aether, but he's not able to bring it home because the platform keeps on interrupting in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, the platform has been not helpful for him, more of a detriment than anything. You would've thought, as a first aid, you'll have a neutral started, but <laughs> this is looking like a counterpick, actually. At this point, wouldn't down throw kill? Uh, down throw can eventually kill with Ike, but... It's Pikachu at 145, and Goblin's gotta yeah, try no. something that isn't called Aether. Yeah, that... Uh, what you said? I say <laughs> as Aether confirms the kill, but Goblin's still sitting a stop behind, and I feel like esam has got plenty of momentum to clench out this game with Nario Worry. Yeah, no, he definitely has another a lot of momentum, and almost dying right there. The grab out of the start of Aether. Yeah. The interruption from Quick Attack. Okay, he actually had it because Quick Attack interrupted, yeah. but I guess really he's wanting to choose. He's through wanting to style. Or just being the ultra homie. And one way or another, homie. like he's still very much in control of this. Right back. Yeah, I, I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, no, I'm thinking it's high time for Esam to clean up this game one. Uh, yeah. A questionable start from Goblin. I can see the logic, but I really want to see more of them in the update. I'm going to be honest with you. Yes, yeah, same. It, this is seen, This is not the economics <laughs> I definitely heard a bunch about. No, my, uh, my man's market theory is going right down the drain. He's going to have to uh, hit the books. Yeah, certainly. So, and as far what, what, as Esam, I, Esam, I think, was playing things out fine. I don't know if it was from him messing around in the, the end of the stocks or just getting a bit too headstrong with his buttons, but there was quite a couple of situations where Esam could have just laid off and due to Ike not really having too many options in really awkward spaces off stage like that, could have just let Goblin die. Yeah, certainly. It felt like he just, at some point, he's like, yo, I'm hitting it for the style. And seems like we might have just only had a stage pick. I thought we were going to get a character switch, but Goblin is 
hell bent on playing this Ike. I okay. do know they had a close set last time they played. It was game three. But this one it's not looking as close as from game one's character. No, not at all. At least the pick into Smash Roll I think is really smart. Not a lot of space for Pikachu to run and if Goblin is going to be opting for the Aether Spam, at the very least it is going to be covering a bit more of a proactive amount of space. Because you see how Goblin has been positioning himself where he has like all of the platform ahead of himself. It's a little bit safer, I guess. Yeah, just, just a tab. Oh. Almost got through right there. If that's a little bit closer to that side of the stage, I feel like Forward Tilt may have been able to do it, but Esam just barely surviving. Yeah, and Goblin just a bit late on that punish. Oh, just didn't dip low enough. He didn't get the sweet spot, so that's how Esam was able to seal that stock with the F smash. All right, Isam getting a little bit greedy with his up airs. He's gonna end up getting an up air from Goblin in return. Yeah, Why that's a high classic. Him? Yeah, that's like classic. If you're just in disadvantage and you just go, you just end up below them because you miss one of your sharking tools. They just do a falling up air, especially with the adjustment of their hurt box. You just die for it. Oh, just doing an area of disadvantage. That is an option. Isam going for the up throw just to read out whatever option Goblin picks and act accordingly. We've been seeing a lot of Isam's combos start off of uh, some sort of hit from the air. So it works yeah. out. Alright. 70. And this is relatively even in percents. Oh yeah, in the grand scheme of things, like if Isam can't clean up the stock, he does have to be careful. It's still yeah. Ike, like regardless of Goblin playing a bit messy. Like, yeah, like... Gob Goblin can get a kill from, like, at edge right now. <laughs> or he, he can just side B into Pikachu's Thunder. Yeah, is that what we're doing? Is yeah, that I what was on the, the dock? I think, that's, I think that's what we're doing. All right. At this rate, Esam is beelining his way into top eight, and Goblin doesn't really have much to say about it. He's trying to put out these nares, but... Esam is able to play this out as patiently as he can. He's only got 70 on the board. The Thunder Jolts at a distance looking really smart for him. And there we go. Set. the battle. <laughs> <laughs> he came into this set to do one thing. And one thing only. And, one and he did it. And women hate him for it. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats to Esam. I believe being our, one of our few people, I believe our second person on stream to make top eight. But 